What's up guys? I'm BTC. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today we're going to work on building out the base a little bit. I've collected a lot of resources. We got to put up some walls, some foundations, all that cool stuff. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, please hit that like button, share the video with your friends, subscribe for more Ark content. Let's get to it. We're going to get to work on the base in just a second, but first... I have to announce the return of the most magnificent mammoth in the history of Ark. I give you poopy. <laughs> and his poop. I went and got poopy out of the digital cryostasis that is the big green tower over there. I've been collecting lots of resources with him. I also went and tamed up one of the elks as well, so now I've got the the scythe in order to get tons and tons of fiber. I also got the elk or the moose, whatever you want to call it, in order to get the thatch, and I got poopy in order to get the wood. Now, I went and did this because, well, resource collecting isn't exactly fun, and I figured... We might as well just get it done as fast as possible. Like, let's just collect as much materials as we can. Because then we can do cool stuff, like actually building and expanding and, and progressing instead of, like, doing this for hours. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. I went and got poopy, and we've been collecting lots of lumber and stuff. And I also just went and let me see here. Uh, let me get rid of some of this stuff here. Let's throw that in there. I've been building up a little bit right here. So this is going to be the egg farm area. I decided to put it over here. Long story short, right down... Oh, man, I hate that I don't have the spear. I can't use the pointy... I can't use the pointy part of the, of the sword of the spear anymore. All right, so there's the cave right there, okay? Now, the way that the cave... Actually, you know what? I can just show you. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Watch this. Ready? We're gonna go into we're gonna go prone, and then we're gonna go into K mode, and then we're gonna do this. Ready? Bam! Look at that. You can see all the all the uh, little fence foundations on the ground there. But if we zoom out even more and just kind of look, there you go. Ah 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 ah! There it is, right there. There it is, right there. So you can see the cave is over there. Okay. Basically, what that means is when I go into the cave, it goes in this a direction. See, I really didn't know which way the cave was going to go, like where it was on the ground. But apparently when you go into it, it goes like down and around, and it's like over there. So I didn't want to build the egg farm over there where I originally was going to plant it, because it would have been above the cave, and that's a lava cave. Last thing you want to do is you want to be lagging when there's lava. So I figured, all right, we'll put the egg farm over here, and that should help it a little bit. So that's that's what I did. So we're going to put the egg farm over here. Now, I've already placed down a bunch of the foundations, and I did build this right here. So kind of the cool thing about this area is it has a lot of cliffs, so I can just kind of like build from one point to the other point, and I really don't have to worry about, uh, what do you call it, about, like, completely enclosing it. All right, so we got to get this right. Which way is the correct way? All right, so I want it like that. Okay, good. Now, are they going to... Oh, thank God. Good, good, good. All right, so I am going to put this too high for right now. Uh, just... Oh, no! No, you're not doing that to me. Please don't do that to me. Oh, God, no. Please don't. Please don't do that to me. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, it's not, like, attached. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, it's not, like, perfectly aligned. All right, whatever. You know what? The easiest way to do this is to just do the, the first level first. Because then, rather than, like, going, you know bottom level up one, bottom level up one, you know. You just put in the first level, and you get it facing the direction that you want it to, and then it makes it way easier, because then for the second row, for the second row, you simply just go in and you just snap it on top of it, and it's automatically going to line up with the bottom one. 
So like, this is what I mean. Like, see, so just boop, it's automatically going to be fixed. So it's easier to just go and do the the whole first row, the first row first, rather than trying to do, you know, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, really, I don't have to worry too, too much because not much stuff spawns up here. Like this whole kind of hillside right here is kind of a dead spawn area. Like I've seen a turtle up here. I've seen a stego or two. I did get chased by a scorpion once <laughs> a long, long time ago. But for the most part, this area up top is kind of dead. And I don't think I've ever, ever, ever seen an alpha up here. So I'm not really too worried. The, the closest thing I've seen is, like, there was some raptors that spawned, like, in that little woods area. And there was a bunch of T-Rexes that spawned down there. But I don't think I've ever actually seen any, like, hostile stuff up here. So I think this is a pretty safe area. But, you know, just, just to be on the super safe side because I do want to leave like the dinos and stuff outside. Like one of the problems that I had last time was that I had to make this gigantic, huge, lagorific enclosure, that giant stone box. And it caused lots of lag because there was so many uh, pillars and, and ceiling pieces and stuff like that. Now, if you put it up to three high, then nothing can see across. I'm not really too, too worried right now. I will come back and change this. I think I might actually change it to metal. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. For right now, I'm, I'm okay with just the two high right there. We'll, we'll fix it later. We'll add more if I actually need to, but I don't think I really need to. All right, so let's see. What else um, do I have? I need some more foundations. So let's go. Oh, 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 spinny, spinny. Let's grab some foundations here. And I'm now burdened. Okay, come on, Poopy. We got we got more to work to do. More work. Yeah, see, I've never really seen anything spawn up here. So I think we're pretty safe. I think I'm pretty safe up here. It's no big deal. And like I said, because they're like cliffs, like nothing can really get up here. So, as long as I just have, like, this kind of walled off, I, I should be okay. Right? I should be okay. Alright, guys. Poopy and I have been doing a lot of work. And I got all of the first layer of the wall up. I'll have to go back and add another couple layers so that, like, T-Rexes can't see in. But I'm not really too, too worried. There aren't any dangerous dinosaurs over here right now. Yeah, they could spawn at some point, but for right this second, I'm not really concerned about it. And the really cool thing about this area is that because there's these giant cliffs, I don't actually have to make the wall go all the way around. I just have to go from like one section to the other section, and then the rest is just cliff. And there's nothing that can get up here. There's no RGs that spawn here. There's no bugs that spawn here. So... I don't really have to worry about too much stuff. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, let me show you where I started, which was right over here. So I started here and I cut all the way to the other side right here. And then it goes around to here. And I decided to put this wall and that door a little bit higher up. I actually pulled in a lot of the base. I'll show you that in a, in a second, what I was originally going to do. But So this is that first gate right there. And then this comes up over here. I got another gate right here. And this gate will lead to down onto the shore. And it leads to over here, which is, you know, the primary resource gathering that I'm going to be using. There's a lot of rocks that spawn here. There's a billion little berry bushes. And also plenty of trees, so I might actually get a Bronto because a single Bronto tail swipe right there. Like, look at all of those. Look at all of that. Like, a single Bronto tail swipe would collect so many berries right there because there's just so many plants. And let's see. There's also a bunch of rocks over there, too, but I've been destroying them, collecting it in order to make the behemoth gates. But there are a lot of rocks over there as well. And let's see here. So then the wall comes over to here. And that's it. So I got this whole area right here. It's large enough for what I need. But it's not, you know, like 
excessively large where I'm gonna have to worry about stuff spawning inside. So the plan is I put the egg farm way over here and I put all of my other stuff, like my crafting and all the stuff over on this side. And the reason for that is to put maximum distance between me and the egg farm. So that way stuff still spawns, like they'll they'll still make eggs over at the egg farm, but it won't lag me. So that's that's kind of the plan right there. And I will have to probably get rid of like a couple of these rocks, although I really like how they look. Now, the original plan was to put this wall like way down here. And I was going to put a behemoth gate right here, and I was going to put another one right here, and then I was going to bring the wall up to here and then bring it over here, but that's just too much. I just don't need that much area. And, again, stuff would spawn in there, so you have to put little foundations down everywhere. It's just not worth it. So, over there, egg farm, crafting stuff. In the middle here, I'll probably put, like, a, a taming pen and some other stuff. Maybe I'll make, like, a, an area for, like, breeding the dinos and, and things like that. But, uh, should look pretty cool. Should look pretty cool. Poopy came in really, really handy. Able to collect tons and tons of the uh, the wood there and make this really, really quick job. Oh, by the way, I did level up again, and I now have my weight to 350. So I think I might actually just keep putting more into weight. I might put a little bit more into speed too, but I got fortitude where I like it. Health is pretty okay. I might actually buff it up to like 250 maybe. But I think I am going to keep increasing the weight because it made actually creating this place so much easier. All right, anyways. Well, now that the base is completely walled off, I think I'm going to bring all of these up there. Because this really, <laughs> this really isn't very safe. I mean, it's just thatch. This pretty much kept raptors out, and that's about it. But if there was like a T-Rex or something that spawned... It would just destroy the thatch and then kill everything that's in here. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to open this gate right here. And I might actually end up having to tear down. You know what? Let's just tear down the wall. <laughs> it's going to be easier. It's going to be way easier if I do this. Trying to get all of them to funnel out through that gate is just going to be incredibly difficult so let's just tear that down and I'll come back and destroy the rest of it later you know they really really need another gate I I've said this so many times they need to have a gate that's in between the dino gate and the behemoth gate maybe they could make like a mega gate or something just something because like this is too small for like mammoths and some like RGs and stuff actually no RGs can't go through here uh, this is too small for, like, mammoths and stegos and stuff. But the behemoth gate is just gigantic. I mean, you really don't need something that big. Anyways, all right, ready? Come on, guys. You ready? Oh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me empty this out. All right. Am I going to be burning? No, okay. All right, guys. Oh, oh, we got an egg. Oh, we got multiple eggs. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. All right. What do we got? Anything else? Anything else? Any eggs? Well, we got some dodo eggs. I don't really care about those. All right, guys. You ready? Come on. Ready? Oh. Um. Hold on. He's going to follow. They're, they're all going to follow John Cena. Hold on. <laughs> uh, oh, John Cena is going to follow me. Okay. There we go. All right. Ready? The great. Oh, hey, look. It's stacked. <laughs> stacked poop. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody, you too. You, I see you over there. Don't get don't get stuck. I opened that area for a reason. Come on. Everybody, everybody this way. Everybody this way. There we go. Now we can see. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you what are you guys stuck on? Do I really need to like knock down the palm trees? Are you Come on, guys. Come on. Really? Is anybody stuck in here? Anybody stuck in here? I see a bunch of poop. Oh, there's some more stack poop. You guys are great at stacking the poop, man. You're not very bright, but you're amazing at stacking poop. All right, come on. Come on. Ready? Let's go. Up here. Up here. Da, 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 da. I need, like, a flute or something. Do, 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 do
<laughs> the little, the little dodo. Oh, come on, Demetrodon. The dodos are beating you. The dodos are beating you. Really? Come on, man. We gotta get them all up here. This is, <laughs> let's see who wins. All right, who's gonna win the race? It's probably gonna be the raptor. All right, raptor, you came in first. Raptor, you came in first. Who's next? All right, so we got the snuffles. Snuffles. Oh, the the Fiomia, and then the Dillos, then the Dillos, and man, you guys are slow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Chop, 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 chop! Move, 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 move! Faster, 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 faster! Get up there! Look at you! Look at you! You were such a pain to tame. So, so annoying to get you tamed. And you, you're just taking your sweet time. You're just taking your sweet time. Get up there. All right. Okay. We're going to do round two, guys. All right, round two. Round two. Poopy, do you want to get it on this? No? Okay, Poopy, you just you just kind of, like, stay out of the way. Are you good? Okay, you're out of the way. All right, ready? Round two. Round two. Let's get, uh, let's get John Cena and go. Go. Got to bring him all the way over here. And down. Okay. Ready? Oh, man. Wow. Dude, that raptor. Pretty quick. Pretty quick. Pretty quick. All right, Parasaurus. We got we got two Parasaurus. And then, oh, man. You, look at that. The Fiomia beat you. The Fiomia. The pig. The pig beat you. The pig beat you. You are a disgrace to Parasaur kind. The pig beat you. Wow. All right, where where are my where are my dodos? Where are my dodos? Dodos, come on, dodos! Oh oh oh! Dodo number one. Dodo number two. Dodo number three. Oh, we seem to be missing some dodos. Where are the dodos? Um, are they stuck? With where, where's the dodos? The dodos? Oh 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 oh! You guys, come on, come on, guys! Oh my God, the dillos! Oh, you guys! What are you doing? Come on. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? You guys... <sighs> Did I miss any? I might have missed some. Let's see. Let's see if there's any that I might have missed. Any around here? No? Come on. You guys... Are... Oh. You guys forfeit. You don't... Like, you went off the... You went off the track. You went off the track. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, my God. You guys are so stupid. All right, well, the next thing I need to do is get some water up on top of that cliff there. So there's actually a couple of different ways that I can do this. Now, the obvious thing would be to run all the way over to the coast, and then I can put this down into the water right here. But there are some other places that you can put the irrigation pipe. It depends on like how low the ground actually is. And let me show you something here. So right here, I can actually put the irrigation right there. I could put it underneath that rock too, but the, the stone is kind of obstructing it, but I can place it right here. So let me show you, if I go into K mode and then I look down, you'll see, oh, well, first you can see all the caves and stuff, which is kind of cool. But if you look, you'll see the ocean level is like over there. And then if you, there you go, right there. Look at that, see that? There's a hidden water level underneath the island. So if you can get low enough to the ground, you can actually just put the irrigation pipe right on the ground in the middle of the, in the middle of the ground. And if it goes down far enough, you can actually put it into the hidden ocean that is underneath the island. So that's that's pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat. So I can place it right there. And there's a couple of other places I can put it too. I think I can put it over here maybe. Oh, that, that might not be low enough. Oh, over here maybe. No. Okay. How about over here? Does that go low enough? 
No. Maybe maybe if I maybe if I got rid of that stone I might be able to. But I can also put it inside the cave. So if I come over here, I can actually put it inside the cave as well. So look at that. Because again, if we go into K mode and look down, the water levels are right it's right there. It is right there. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of weird, but like <laughs> You got, you got, so that's the bottom, that is the, the floor of the, of the cave, right there, and then there's, like, a little gap, I guess that's where the, uh, I guess that's where, like, the mice live, or something, and then you have another kind of rock layer, and then right underneath that is, like, another little gap, that's where the, the other mice live, and then you have the water, so, it's kind of neat, it's kind of neat, so you don't always have to put the irrigation pipe like into a lake or into an ocean or something like that so i've been trying to figure out where exactly i want to put this i want to use the least amount of pipe possible but the problem with this is like i don't i don't really want to have it coming through the entrance right there so i think i'm gonna put it over here so let's uh let's try to line this up shall we uh, i don't really know how i'm gonna do this uh, how about, how about just like, just like right here, and then let's go to K mode, and see, like, where it's gonna go. You know, I think, alright, so hold on. I think that's kinda good enough. You know, maybe I need to turn a little bit, maybe you need to turn a little bit this way, and then, it's kinda, it's really, <laughs> it's really hard, really hard to aim. Uh, that might be good let's try it we'll just try it boop there we go so see look it's got water in it so that's pretty cool now let's start attaching some of the other pipes and i got like the what do you call it the uh the the uh the sloped or the inclined and then i've got the vertical and all that other stuff too so we're gonna try that and i'm just gonna bring it along the ground as much as i can uh, let's see here. So, oh, I can't actually put that there. Well, that's that's <laughs> that's disappointing. All right, so let's put that right there, and then can I put? Okay, there we go. So then we'll just start just start putting these right here. I want to try to keep it as close to ground level as possible. Uh, is this gonna cause problems? Can I? No. Okay. How about this here? Okay, there we go. All right. So, now let's just keep going this way. And is this a destructible stone? I don't think so. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. All right, let's let me let me get rid of this. Let's get rid of this one here. And then I'm going to try to bring it as close to the wall as I can and then we'll go straight up. All right. So, put that right there. That right there. And then Wait, should I should I go up at like at an angle? Would that look better? That might look a little bit better. Eh, let's let's go like this. We'll put that right there, and then a uh, vertical one can go right there, and then we'll put. Oh, oh, that's not it. Wait, do I just want to go straight up? Maybe I should just go straight up. All right, let me let me take care of this. Alright, got the piping all the way up to the top of the cliff. I think this is going to work. You know what I might actually end up doing is I might expand this cliff. I might put like some pillars or something down there and build up and kind of square off this little cliff area right here because there is like just like this tiny little area here. So I think if I were to build out just a little bit and then head over to like where the piping is... I could kind of like square this area off and just put the farming stuff over here. I think that would work. That would probably work quite well. So maybe we'll do that. Probably not going to do it today, but I am glad that I have some water up here now. So what I'm actually going to do for right now is I'm just going to throw... Oh, that's not going to work. We're going to put that right there. And I'm just going to toss this here for right now. So that way I can actually refill my water bottle and not have to go all the way down. And uh, we'll fix that later, but 
Yeah, it works pretty good. Pretty good. Got the uh, irrigation pipe, like, right into the... Uh, Right into the underwater, or the, uh, excuse me, the underground uh, water reservoir. We don't actually have to go all the way to the ocean. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, how much distance did it save? It saved quite a bit, I think. That's a pretty nice distance that I saved. Yeah, I could have just, like, went from there and built up and came up this side right here. Which actually isn't too bad. I could have done that. Eh, whatever, who cares? Maybe I'll do it later, but for right now, I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine for right now. Maybe, maybe I can add another pipe over there and then I can destroy that. I don't know. I don't think I'm actually going to build too much down there. The only thing I'm going to think I'm going to build is just a, uh, like a ramp and an elevator. One of the things I really like to have in my base is a nice taming pen so that is what this is i went ahead and made it off cam uh, just because it's kind of painful to make this <laughs> when you're placing down these walls like in the middle of foundation oh, oh well let me show you like when you're trying to place it it's like see it's like it j like jumps around and then oh God, it oh man it's such a pain it takes so long and sometimes you're like you'll play like like, I'll go to place it, and I'm like, okay. All right. That's how it's supposed to be. And then you click the button to place it. And nope. It puts it, like, the reverse way. It's like, it gets, it's so fr it's frustrating. Anyways. So, so, <laughs> it, it spared you guys. It spared you guys some of my frustration. Because I did end up having to tear down some of these walls multiple times in order to actually get it correct. But, so this is a, a very nice... A taming pen. Let me put the boom. There we go. So last one is right there. And the idea is I can take an RG or a Quetzal or something and I can drop something in here. The reason why it's so large is because if I want to tame like a Stego or a Mammoth or something, I want it to have enough room where I can easily drop it right inside. And on top of that, I've tried making the smaller taming pen pens actually i had a timing pen that was only one foundation like it was one foundation and i had like a couple of walls and i would like drop direwolves and cats in it and it, that's just a pain like it's <laughs> it's such a pain to drop it in there so a nice large taming pen makes it super easy to drop it in all the windows mean that i can you know you can easily get the good shots and you can use door frames, but keep in mind, there's a lot of stuff that can come out of the door frames. So like raptors and and the, the little packies and, and lots of other stuff can just walk right out if you have door frames. So that's why I like the windows. Uh, eventually, I'm going to convert this to like stone or metal just so that it looks a little bit better. But there you go. Now, the only problem, of course, is that mammoths can't actually go through here. But hey, if I can bring it in with a Quetzal, then I can also bring it out with a Quetzal. So I do want to put a couple of ramps right here. So I'm going to put that right there and that right there. And it's done. There we go. So that's pretty nice. And now I can start taming up a whole bunch of stuff. I can just go and, and grab uh, all the little things that I'm going to need, like the Dillos and the Raptors and the, uh, the Packies and all that other stuff. And I can just drop them in here and tame them up. I actually can't put this one piece here because this other thing is in the way. But once I tear that down, it'll be fine. So, all right, Poopy. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I like that. I like that. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Not too shabby. All right, well, we got quite a bit done today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Subscribe for more art content if you're new. Thank you for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.